Electronic chemical materials play a crucial role in semiconductor manufacturing, directly shaping the performance, reliability, and scalability of modern chips. These materials are divided into two major categories, wafer fabrication materials and advanced packaging materials. Both are essential for achieving cutting-edge technology nodes and improving device efficiency. Let's begin with wafer fabrication materials, the foundation of chip production. One of the most critical components is photolithography materials, especially as the industry advances into extreme miniaturization. EUV photoresists are now capable of molecular scale resolution, enabling patterning for next generation chips. Another innovation involves metal oxide photoresists, which offer superior sensitivity and stability under extreme ultraviolet exposure. A recent breakthrough worth noting is the successful development of a domestic ARF photoresist, which has now passed 14 nanometer node verification, a major milestone in strengthening supply chain independence. Next, we have electronic specialty gases, which are essential in deposition and etching processes. Ultra-pure germain, just too much for, with purity levels reaching 99.9999%, is a key precursor for germanium-based epitaxial layers and advanced channel materials. Similarly, NF3 etching gas is widely used in cleaning and removing unwanted deposits inside reactors, ensuring precision and process stability. Another critical material in wafer fabrication is CMP consumables. Chemical mechanical planarization relies heavily on slurries and seria nanoparticle slurries with particle sizes below 50 nanometers, allow for extremely fine polishing, ensuring flat and uniform wafer surfaces required for high density integration. Now let's move to advanced packaging materials, which determine how chips perform after fabrication. Modern devices require advanced encapsulation resins, such as low dielectric constant polyimide with a decay below 2.8, helping reduce signal delay and power consumption. Heat management is equally important, and materials like graphene thermal pads, boasting thermal conductivity over 1,500 watts per meter Kelvin, provide exceptional heat dissipation for high power chips. Finally, die attached materials, specifically silver sintering paste, allow strong bonding at temperatures below 200 degrees Celsius, improving both thermal performance and long-term reliability. Together, these advanced chemical materials are enabling faster, smaller, and more efficient semiconductor devices, pushing the boundaries of what modern electronics can achieve. If you are interested in watching videos like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And give your opinion in the comment section. We'll see you in the next video.